Yo, Vincent here. So this is gonna be a build plan. If you can check out my launch plan video, this is kind of a variation of the early access, open beta, and surface slam. So I know it works. And it's like the most flexible build I can think of. You can do handle long range, mid range, close range, no problem. Okay, Druid is gonna be my main class. So I'm gonna start off with the skill tree here. And uh, I did do a lot of research. Now I have more skill points and more of like an end game stuff. So I'm starting with wind shear. It can allow me to be range. This is not going to be made for damage. It's more of a utility thing and give vulnerability 20%. This one, 50% is nice, but it's melee. This one allow me to be safe, hit from range. No problem. Earth spike is okay too, but it's very slow and it doesn't give much spirit, especially when you get this hit against mobs. There's a lot of mobs in this game. So that is a good choice here for me. I'm going to go straight into pulverize. And I'm going to get into the stun. Okay, that's the path I'm going to go for. This is going to be your main damage. My main damage. I'm going to max this out. Right? If I can. But we're actually going to start off with one. Because I'm going to get Urban Bull Rock. And I'm going to Unstoppable. Allow me to escape CC and get Fortify. Okay? So once I get that, I'm still missing points. Right? So I get the Pulverize. Then once I get here, I get to clarity. So this will fix my spirit problem. Um, so I'm just going to get that maxed out. Because then I will be switching between human and bear form a lot. Right? And then I will get to pulverize maxed out here. From here, I will actually go into trample. Trample will be by movement skill and damage skill. Which is good. And I'm use this for my another fortify seal. So I have this fortify and this fortify. This will keep me alive. This will keep me moving and alive. <laughs> so at this point, um, I might actually get one point into wolves. I do want to respect this into poison creeper later down the line. But for now, I'm gonna actually just gonna get wolf for tanking purposes, and I'm gonna get more into trample. That'll allow me to get down here. I'm not getting an ultimate though. Okay, no ultimate, just passives. And since I'm shape shifting a lot of human and bear, this is easy, right? It's like a gun. It shoots hella quick. I can just keep doing it. I don't have to be next to them. I just shoot it. No problem. And I'll hit them. <laughs> so I'm going to go get this and I get point in this. Now I can fortify by switching in between. And I'll get damage increased by switching in between, which is good. So I'm just going to max this out, get this maxed out, and get one point into this just by shape shifting. I'll get damage reduction as well, which is great. Then we're going to go back and finish Trample. And then I'm going to get Wolves as well. Get the Fortify from Wolves. Obviously, I'm going to respect this into Poison Creeper later. But as I'm leveling, I'm not going to. Okay. And then I'm going to get the Earth Sign Strength. Obviously, if I get Legendaries, then that's a different issue. I'll probably get that if I get Legendary for, for Poison Creeper or like Blood Howl. I'll probably put points to Dash for the time being. And then from here... Um, I'm actually going to go up here and get this maximum spirit and extra damage. By this time, I'll probably have enough spirit regen and stuff like that. Items, hopefully. And I want to just do more damage. This will make my core skill cost more my pulverize, which is my main damage. But it will do more damage as well. So, hopefully now I'm actually get... I'm going to actually get Pulverize and Trample. The main goal is to get Pulverize and Trample to be an Earth skill with items that I'll go through later. So I do want to get this here. Um, this will allow us to do... So it actually changes to Nature Magic as well. So um, I want that. And then this your skill, Earth skills be vulnerable. So that's the important part that I want. But I'm just going to get one point. But this is what I want. The more I want to give it more damage. Just straight up 6%. And I'm doing storm skills all the time. So I'll be like interchangeable. <laughs> and then I'm going to actually get this one maxed out too. I'll probably get a point into here. But that I'm not going to tend too much on CC stuff. I just want this part where um, when I'm over fortify. I have a lot of fortifying stuff. I'm just going to do more damage. Just straight up. And I might get one point in this just to have nice things. <laughs> Um, I do have a build already built, but this is like the leveling process here. So I'm going to go switch over here, right? So if you notice, I also got the fortify here. This is like the last part I'll do. So I got this. Um, this is like the main stuff that I have already in there. 
and then in the end I'll probably get this. So I have this fortify stuff and then I have some impairing control CC stuff here anyways. And then I'll respec from here into this. Okay. With the critical chance. So I'm actually going to depend on crit, but I don't care about crit damage. I just want to crit to get extra things. That act, this actually depends if I get this legendary early or late. So depending on when I get this, then I'll have landslide here, but it's going to be like last priority. It's not even going to be a main thing. I'm actually think so I do want trample earth into my amulet because that's going to be the secondary damage. It's going to be, and then become earth and nature skill. And the main damage is the shockwave. So I'll be doing wind shear and my, sh now my pulverize is also a range skill pretty much. So I'll be hitting like that and then to tr to trample is more like of an escape route and then hitting everything along the way. So that's the main part here. So I'll be, and, and then I'll be hitting everything with sh shockwave and wind shear. Then we have this thing, which makes my pull right the earth skill. That's the important part. I don't care about like the tonic spikes and stuff like that. That's just secondary. I actually care about just making the earth skill. So that in turn, then I'll have this as my boots fortify would give me, uh, earth skill plus two and these will be earth skills and this this thing is just good in general like i do want to get this um from a dungeon too just to have it because this thing is so good hitting a damn hitting elite give you a barrier straight up and i'll go over like where to get them from the the data mine my uh map so just spoil alert if you don't want to see that later I'll, I'll let you guys know from there i also want rapid aspect so that allowed me wind shear to shoot even faster. That's even good. So this is just for like spirit regen stuff. And then this increases my core skill damage, AKA my pulverize will be my main damage and trample as well, but mostly just the pulverize. And this will increase my wear bear skills plus two. That's the main part. And um, now my wear bear will be true form, but I will be doing, I'll be doing earth skills. I'll be doing wind storm skills so i'll be switching back and forth anyway so it doesn't really matter um and then i obviously want to go for this unique with plus four to all rank and damage reduction yeah the other one's okay but then it will force my werebear to be earth skills and i mean earth skill to be werebear so i won't be switching right it, i will be stuck in werebear so i i actually this is more of a quick shift stuff so i do want to quick shift a lot so that's the reason why is this one instead of the other one. <laughs> so I gotta go for the four skill stuff. The, for gems, um, I like overpower damage. I can also go for this one because I'll be vulnerable with wind shear, but I don't want to be too reliant on it. This one's like guaranteed, right? I'm guaranteed to overpower every 12 seconds. That's that. And obviously you want life for more fortification and then jewelry is skull. Skull's like the best, gives you more armor. Okay, so the main thing is the, the pulverize obviously and for the boons i want this this is like the best one out of all of these i don't really need all the other stuff and um so critical strike i don't bear crit damage because i want actually the bottom one right here for snake um lucky hit give chance to restore spirit it's not so bad i could also get more fortify but i have a lot of fortifying skills so i might not actually need that so here I want I want to make sure my earth skill overpower. So that that's why I have this. And then this thing allowed me to crit and heal. So um that's what this part. I just want to crit. I don't care about the damage. I just want to crit just for utility purposes. Alright, I'm gonna show the map. So just be warned if you don't want to see the map or anything. Obviously, we can't get this one. This one is only drop only, and these uniques are drop only. But I can go over where to get these in terms of dungeons. So this aspect of the important one actually for the earth skill, I I can't find it, but it should be in the bottom right area of this, which is the swamp area. That's how you pronounce it, uh, ha Halazar place. Okay, and then this one, uh, the barrier is actually near, so this is like the beginning area, right? That one is, I believe somewhere here. Like more of the middle, uh, okay. So near here, right here. Aspect of rapid. No, that's not at rapid. Protector, protector, right here. Lost archives. That's that was in the beta. I don't know why I skipped my mind, but yeah, that's in the beta, which is the first area, Fracture Peaks. So that protector and rapid. 
right here that's the the one the ring over here you can get that over there right the tax speed one and then we have a retaliation though that's like um it's like super up here where is it right here all right retaliation that's for the druid and dry st steeps and then we have ballistic which is right here top right that is for this one, the one with Earth skill. The Paragon board, um, I'm actually going to go into this node first for Werebear. And then from there, I will go into the shape-shifting one. And then last but not least, I'll go for this one, which is like Spending Spirit. Um, obviously, I'm not into... There's like these breakpoints at 460 and... 360 i'm gonna actually depend on items for getting these but uh, obviously when you go through each board right you actually get more uh, it'll cost more for like these rare nodes right 360 this is the main thing i want okay so um i could go over the board but maybe i'll save it for like another video or something because <laughs> it's gonna this is gonna be too long because going through everything but those are the main stuff i want okay I guess I just quickly showed this, but hopefully you enjoyed the video for the, my basic build. Um, let me know if you do want to see the Paragon. Otherwise, I'm just going to, this is just the basics. I just show you the board that I'm going through. Hopefully this helped you kind of brainstorm your builds. And with that, later days.